friends, welcome to A Wonderful Sheep. Today I've got a bit of a different video for this channel. It is an organize my BTS photo card binder with me video. Over the past couple of months, if you've been around, you know I've been hinting about collecting BTS photo cards and well, <laughs> I thought I'd do a video where I um, put away some new photo cards and rearrange my binder. So I thought I'd bring you along. I've got two binders. One is Korean albums photo cards and one is like oversized album photo cards and miscellaneous like tour PCs and things. So I'll start with this one first. I've got some extra persona postcards here. This first page is DVD photo cards. Um, we've got memories, 2000. 17, 18, 19, and then Muster, 3rd, 4th, 5th Muster, and then Wings Tour DVD, Love Yourself Soul DVD, and the Winter Package. And I have little post-its on the back of the sleeves of cards that I bought secondhand to distinguish between cards that I actually pulled from albums. And then this page is, I have B stuff in the front and then other older album stuff in the back, but this is the essential pre-order benefits. I think on this channel I unboxed two albums and I pulled Hobi and JK and then I had actually ordered four more um, at last minute because I wanted these pre-order benefits and I pulled another JK, another Hobi, um, RM and Jin and then I traded a lucky draw for Tay and then I bought these two later. And then we have Grammys, we have this is the Essential Soundwave Edition, beautiful, and the M2U Edition. This is one of my favorite sets, and I, I think this is one of my favorite cards, Timini's M2U Essential. It's really pretty. I double sleeve my photo cards. I love these two together, actually. Just the coloring, and they're both wearing white, and it's just bright. I love this whole page. I love the green, whether they're wearing green or like greenery in the background, so my favorites. And then we have the Grammy edition Lucky Draws from the Deluxe, which was a whole, a whole, whole thing I won't get into, but I do have two complete sets. Um, I pulled two JKs when I bought the Deluxe version. and. This is not, <laughs> this is just a hollow sleeve on JK because I will not be purchasing the Japanese hollow lucky draws because they are quite expensive. All right, I've, I've stuck something under. Hopefully that's better for the glare. The essential PCs. This was the first set I ever completed thanks to me going for the, the lucky draws. And I just kept an extra group card to complete this page. And then we have the Deluxe and Essential. We have 95 lines here because I have um, some random lucky draws from the fall, the first lucky draw for uh, B Deluxe. And I am a new collector and I still can't part with cards. So I just have random a random Chuni and Hobi lucky draw. And this worked out nicely because then this is wrap line on this page. And then we have this beautiful page, which is my pride and joy. This is the B Deluxe first time lucky draws from the fall. And I had pulled Jin, both of Jin's and RM's, both of RM's and a Tay. And I traded an extra Jin for Hobi. And then I was able to trade a Tay and a Jin for Jungkooki. And this was like my first taste of blood, like trading on the street outside of the store in the evening actually because I went at lunchtime to buy the albums and I couldn't trade. So I went back at after work and miraculously I was able to trade for JK, which I don't think would happen now because I've been to a couple Lucky Draw events since then and nobody will trade for JK because they know they can resell him for much more and probably just buy the photo card they want with that money, so this was what gave me the bug for collecting photo cards. And I really like the way this page looks. They just look nice together, the oldest and the youngest and the colors and everything. All right, so that's it for B. And now into Korean album photo cards, I think. I have this random BTS World coupon, which I'd like to use as a filler somewhere since I'm not collecting these. And then 
I have some older album photo cards, which I will take out. Uh, sugar. Gin. Hobi. And I have a tea to add. And then I guess I will use the group cards for fillers. And I'm not gonna, I don't know how this is gonna work out, but I have these fillers that I've been making from the labels of drinks that BTS are sponsors or like models for, like Chirsung Cider. These are all Chirsung Cider. And lately they've come out with a new flavor of the hot brew, cold brew coffees. This is Macadamia Mocha. And on the back, this is Vanilla Latte, but they come, they've come out with the room concept photos versus the old photos, so I wanted to see how I like these as fillers. We'll check later. So this this page needs fillers. For Dark and Wild, not much progress on Dark and Wild because I just bought a new album and happened to pull another Chimini. There's gonna be a lot of duplicates because I am still a little nervous about buying cards secondhand because I'm afraid of fakes or being scanned so I've just been buying albums when I get a chance and that means pulling a lot of dupes. Um, but yeah, we need fillers for that. Dark and Wild and oh, oh here's another. I'm not going to collect special edition School of Affair um, for now anyway, so I'll put Just like this for now, and I'll put I'll put you here as well for now. This page, and then Hyung on the part two, right? Yeah, part two. We've got an extra gin, which I'll stick there for now. This was a sticker to show it's a dupe. Need to trade for these as well. <laughs> And then here, again, not very satisfying to stick in a duplicate, but I need to get my act together and try to set up trades in Korea. And then this page is also, this is actually one of my favorite Korean album photo cards. I don't know if I need three versions of JK, but we'll stick him there for now. <laughs> Again, another ridiculous page. <laughs> On like uh, Impulsive Buy, I bought another Her album and this happened. So that's a page. <laughs> it kind of looks nice like that even though I don't have OT7. But look! A new card! Timini's pizza card. For her, L, O, yes, O is my favorite set, V and E, and then moving on to tier duplicates. So, sugar, you go here. Mamjini, this is your spot. Tay, down to your spot. Yay, new card, Jin's tier card. I love the tier, all the tier cards. But I do have Suga's E version for tier. This is the set I'm closest to completing. If I can trade Jimini for Hobi or pull Hobi, I'll have completed my second set, OT7 set, for an album. Or a version of an album, I guess. I think it was carpet cards and then the sleepy cards. An extra hobby here. Okay. Then nothing for the first, nothing for these answer versions. And then <sighs> I've got a ridiculous card coming here. I'm not gonna be buying any more answer F because love you, Namjoon. Love you, 3000. <gasps> so cute though. These cards are so cute. I can't be mad at it. And we also have Hobies. 
will be both here. So maybe someday JK <laughs> and Suga and Jin. Nothing new for Persona. And then we get into Mat 7 and ta-da! Pulled this lovely fairy angel white swan JK. Kind of sad to say goodbye to my handmade, my watercolor JK. Maybe I'll stick him in here. I was thinking of mating, making like album title cards, like the different versions of Seven as a filler. But for now, we'll put JK there. And then, ta-da! I'm Jimmy. Again, sorry to see my homemade version go. We'll put you somewhere. And then, ta-da! Hobi. <laughs> Can you tell which one is real? And that is it for Korean album photo cards. Let's take another look. Okay, here's a flip through with the fillers now in. I'll just go quickly through the B section. Draws the essential. And then here, Dark and Wild and School Love Affair Special Edition. <clears throat> oh, are you late too? With some homemade fillers for now. And then HYYH Part 2. Again with some fillers. And duplicates. Duplicates for You Never Walk Alone. Her, L version, O version, <laughs> V, the land of duplicates, and E, and then Tear, Y version, O, U, R, so close, and then Answer, S, E, L, F, Persona, one, two, three, four, and then Mat 7. I think eventually I'll just um, get around to finish making my photo cards for the empty spots, the ones I don't have, because I don't know how actively I'll keep trying to collect photo cards since I can't keep buying albums, and also I don't know if I'm gonna really jump into the game of buying photo cards secondhand right now so I like the way that at least even with homemade photo cards I like the way that a full page looks okay so that's it for album photo cards and then we have this binder which is for like oversized album photo cards and other promotional things and random things like my extra homemade photo cards so this is a, a special tape page of Muster, 5th Muster Blu-ray, Seasons Greetings 2021 photo and epilogue photo card. But what I have to put away in here are some promotional things. I don't know where to put the Filo photo cards yet. I decided to take them out of their display like frame thing because they weren't very protected in there. Oh, I made this photo sleeve, this photo card sleeve, which I don't know if that video will go up first or this, but made this, made these. Oops. Okay, we have postcards. The postcards for ordering from the Pang Bang Kwon merchandise. I didn't get, I didn't get any of the merch I wanted from Pang Bang Kwon because I'm not a bot or I don't run like I didn't go to a PC bang to order and everything sold out like in seconds but I did order some other things and I was able to trade my extra magic shop postcard for the speak yourself postcard and I really like these postcards and then I have this space here which I think I'll put these are free postcards that 
the city of Seoul is giving away out behind Seoul Station. If you like post a photo on Instagram of the space that they're um, like publicizing, it's like this nice greenway walkway thing. They give you two postcards and a poster. And I also just brought back one of the pamphlets, which I think will look better because it's bigger here. So I will maybe cut that out. <laughs> Yay. That's done and I'll put these somewhere else. And then the this was deluxe pre-order benefit and this was from ordering some things they did the merchandise i only got one thing um, i didn't go for all three versions of the pop-up shop we've got some tea money cards the older edition ones just i got four of these and then one of the illustrated ones and an rm lenticular because i wanted the full set of the mirror photo cards or the mirror tea monies which are gorgeous and i haven't actually taken them out of their packaging yet i got an extra jk to like carry around but i haven't actually <laughs> taken them out of his packaging but i took some photos when i got them with flowers and they're very pretty and okay here i will put the puzzle photo cards the clear puzzle photo cards which again I don't know if I'll, I did, I did film an unboxing and me like doing one of the puzzles, but I have a very love-hate relationship with BTS puzzles, specifically the 1000 piece puzzle that's been sitting on my floor for over six months, unfinished. <laughs> But these, I had to get these puzzles because they're dynamite themed and they're so pretty. Let's see. Got a piece of white paper behind to show. But I really like these and dynamite is such a special song to me. And then I think, <laughs> I think I wanted to put <laughs> the cold brews here. These are not photo cards, obviously. These are fillers that I made but since I completed the set they look kind of nice together so I decided not to use them as fillers here and there but rather just make a page for them to remember the hard work of going to different CU convenience stores to buy macadamia mocha coffees they've been two plus one though so a little bit on sale that's kind of fun And then, also not official, but you know the Baskin Robbins ice cream block packs? When I became ARMY last year, they were still in Baskin Robbins. Uh, I would go around to different Baskin Robbins whenever I saw one and try to pick up all the members. I never found RM's actual photo one, and I never found V, but I have the other members. I think it's kind of cute. And there is like, I'm sure you've seen in previous unboxings on other channels but there's like nice details on the labels like there's sort of like a clear heart up here is that so i like that <laughs> i did the same for the lamonas i needed to declutter a bit because these boxes were taking up too much space so i just peeled off the labels from the bassy robins and then i cut up the limona boxes and made a page we've got Last year, Bang Bang Kun message photo cards. I got Shiga's set because Shiga's message is very special. And I got JK's set. And then we have some extra persona photo cards, the postcards. And an extra Jin, Wings, Young Forever. Not actively really collecting these as much as the smaller photo cards. Um, but these are nice. Then this page of a random, um, what was this? Yeah, random Mats tour photo cards that I saw. They were just really inexpensive, basically the price of shipping from a really nice seller. And these are two DVD photo cards that were horizontal, so I didn't stick them in that first binder, but 
Memories 2016 and Now 3, and then RM's Concept Book Lenticular and a Sugar Mini PC that was a freebie, and the B um, Echo Bag photo cards. And then here, oh, this must be these. The film viewer, the real viewer. How am I doing this? I think I'm doing it like this. Okay. Which I don't think I even filled an unboxing for because I ordered them in the second round or second wave. It came pretty late and I knew probably everybody had already seen unboxings. But I was actually pleasantly surprised by the film viewer. I, I mean, I got them for the photo cards, but it was kind of fun. It was actually really fun to look through all the different reels and it had that cool like analog 3D effect um, of the photos. Yep, happy with the film viewer, happy with these beautiful photo cards. This is the Pangbangkon portable battery charger, which I got because I actually did need a charger. Army Bomb 3, Army Bomb Special Edition. I made a little progress on my Mats 1 concert photo card since my unboxing. Yay, Juni is complete. Jin is not. <laughs> Yay, Yungi's complete. Yay, Hobi's complete. Jimini. Tae. And Jungkooki. I'm still kicking myself over. I saw this one, but it was a little pricier than I had been paying for these photo cards, so I hesitated, and then a couple days later it was gone, obviously. And then little did I know that Jungkook number three is quite rare. So what I have left to put away is Cubic Painting, the Fila photo cards from last fall. These that I'd been keeping in this little photo frame. Okay, so this is added and then I added, I just added the cubic photo cards in the top loaders as they are next to the T-Money's and then I have other promotional stuff in the front. So Samsung here because it's a little bit brighter and then the Fila Fall edition because it's kind of dark and it goes nicely into these dark T-Money's. And Jin will just have to hang out here for now until I find a better spot for him. All right, and that is it. My photo card binder is updated. I may or may not have one last attempt at some more photo cards. Thank you for watching everyone. Stay safe and healthy and I will see you next time. This yellow binder reminds me of butter, which is coming out in a couple of days. So excited. We had the teaser last night and my head is still bopping. All right, thank you for watching. Bye.